Good evening, folks, and welcome to Alien Addict on a fine and fiery evening. Because it is a fiery evening, because we've got Steve Pierce in the house, and we've got my thing not muted as per usual. I, one day I'll learn. But without further ado, let me bring on my my juicy co-host who looks absolutely fantastic, Rich Giordano. How are you doing, my friend? Considering. I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. And look, uh, thanks for having me on. You're looking beautiful. You're looking beautiful. I tried, man. You have no idea how hard this was. I'm, I'm the guest of honor tonight. Steve Pierce, how you doing, my friend? Pretty good. How you doing? I'm good. We already said that at the beginning, didn't we? That, but that's just that's just the fake bit. We were we were on about ten minutes having a chat. But it's great to have you here. It really well, thank is. Thank you for having me. You've survived the torture of ufology for how many years now? What do you mean? How many years I've been in ufology? Twelve years. Uh, no, what I meant is. Since 12, the actual... 12, 12 years ago, I mean, they didn't even know what the word ufology even was. Steve, I don't think anybody knows what that word means these days. I've never even heard of it. You're not, you're not on your own. And I definitely want to speak about it in a bit about you not believing in aliens. Um, um, but it's, it's interesting to have the first guy that took the lie detector test. Now, I know... You, I, I know from listening to you, you don't want to be associated with the Travis Walton case anymore. You can, you no, kind of. I, I, I didn't. I didn't say that. Well, you're leaving I mean, that behind you. Well, uh, oh, I need to explain this once and for all. Okay, it's the book, people. The five days that Travis was gone. Doing his thing, getting probed up there. Ooh, baby. And uh, the five days that he was gone, Mike Rogers wrote about us in that book that Mike sells. I mean, Travis sells. So Travis sells this book, right? He sells it. He bought it, 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 There was a smaller one years ago. Then he made a, then he, then he did a bigger one. You still there? Yes. Yeah. I'm listening. I'm listening, Steve. Well, the five days in that, in, uh, in that book, it's called Fire and Sky now. Um, uh, it's all wrong. It didn't happen the way that Mike says it's happening. And Mike put stuff in and, and make him look better. I don't know if it made him look better or if it was all uh, mind controlled in the first place. Because I believed all this was mind controlled. So did Alan Dallas. You, you know, remember who Alan Dallas was? The, co- yeah. the tough guy, the tough guy in the movie. Yep. Okay, he believed it was all mind controlled too. And, so, uh, so before any of this had happened, you were never into any of this paranormal stuff. I, I kind of want to go a little bit further back with you, Steve, because I, I, you 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 are, you are a religious man. Am I getting that right? Um, I'm not a religious man. I was raised Pentecostal. I believe in Jesus Christ. So you know, I but I believe in Jesus and. I have a problem though. You slap me, I'm slapping you back. <laughs> good, for, good for you, fella. Did did you have anything in your past when you were growing up? Because you, am I right by saying you were 17 years old when uh, the Travis abduction happened? Well, that summer before that, um, we were living outside of Snowflake with my grandparents for the summer, and they lived about. Um, a good 20 miles, however how far the snowflake is to the border, to the county, because they lived almost on the county line. Well, um, they had these cows being mutilated at the same time that Travis, this happening, you know? And me and my brother ran across one, and uh, that was a trip there. And then they were you, you you saw this before? Um Yeah, before be, Travis. Be, when you said when you say mutilated, was it just 
like eats the blood, them the all. blood was the, the blood was all gone it looked like it was cut with perfect you know how you i don't i don't know if you're from england because you probably don't know you never went deer hunting um okay, no. when you cut when you're cutting a deer when you're skinning it okay when you cut it right if you stop and start again there's two cuts you can see where the one cut goes into the other cut okay well these cows were perfectly cut there was no stopping you know well one cow i'm not going to say he, i only saw one and the, and the blood was all gone so that was you know and then and then um on the there was a ridge out there, like a hill, a mountain, a little bit, you know, uh, 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 farther down from us. And there was no road up to get on top of this, right? And at nighttime, you could see lights up there. And we we never could figure out what those were. And back in the 70s, when it got dark out there, it got dark because there was no electricity out there. Right. And was, the, was, this, was this quite close to where the abduction took place where you saw these mutilated yeah. cows yeah how far away yeah. well um let's see from heber how far is heber to snowflake 20 miles 30 miles oh i wouldn't know that mate i'm not, not i don't I'm know not, I, I, haven't, I'm not I haven't been there it's about the same distance from snowflake going one way and then going the other you know what i mean right so yes it's, I, it, it's in the same county and you guys over that county do see like strange lights in the sky and what have you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's been going on. Had, had that been going on for a long time before the Travis incident? Oh, it happened that summer before. Right. I couldn't tell you anything else because I didn't live there. I only actually lived in Snowflake from September. This is inside town. I stayed in my grandparents' house out there for the summer. But um, but we moved in town before winter hit from September to February 14th when I got married. So I only actually lived in Snowflake for like six months. Right, I got you. So I, I, I kind of don't want to repeat this, the same stories that have been told over and over again, the same questions that have been asked over and over again uh, about the Travis Walton case, because I, I bet you're sick and tired of talking about that, I do, I do want to touch on that a little bit. The, but so we'll we'll go with that right now. The, the one thing I, I've I've always well, wondered, I, I I've got to say a couple of things first, okay? And then we, we of can course, carry of on. course, yeah, yeah, yeah. You you okay, go ahead. So mate. people out there listening, I'm not a hypocrite. I was paid to do this show. It's none of your business how much I got paid. And not by me. Your <laughs> and it ain't none of your business who paid me. Okay. Okay. One other thing, Noah. Uh, uh, vape Noah? shop and yeah, he's a friend of mine. He wanted me to say hey to him. He owns the vape shop in Rain in Rainsville, Alabama. So hey, Noah. Okay, I'm all yours now. Yeah, my go get yourself. My... Go get yourself a vape from Noah. <laughs> and get on that. Get on that arc, right? <laughs> yeah. Have you, got, have you got a discount code for him, Steve? Uh, that's between me and them. The show. Go ahead. Okay, mate. So what I always wanted to know, when when you got close, when you saw the lights and you saw the thing in the sky, looking back at it now as a, an adult, from, from what you remember, would you say that you remember that as a an object in the sky that, is undescribable to, to anything you that you could possibly see now. You mean the when night I'm, that we, the, the, yeah. night, the, the night of the, uh, when Travis was zapped? Yeah, because there is a lot of people that keep speaking about this, um, the, the Gentry Tower. And uh -huh. I, I'm wondering, is it possible that you could have been fooled? Oh, the I, knew that, I knew that question was coming. All right, it's got, it's um, got to come. I know. You know, I, 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 I've known, I've known about that tower since before this even happened. 
Um, I have I have an uncle. He's dead now. Uh, a couple of days after this happened, when Travis was still gone, and everybody thinking we killed Travis, my dad's dead, so my uncle kind of put us under his wing, you know. And he took me back out there, and we looked all over the place, and we ended up at the at the tower. And he said, you know, I think it's this tower you guys saw, you know. And uh, I said, you see it at night, it, it looked different, you know. And I told him, well, I don't want to stick around at night, you know what I mean. And so we took off, and and um. And then there's a book written. The first person who wrote about fire in the sky mentions the tower. So the tower is nothing new to me. I mean, do I think it was the tower? I'm saying, <laughs> is it possible it could have been? Anything's possible. Because, um, you know, I've caught Mike Rogers in so many lies in that book about me. You know, it says in the book that that uh, I went first at the polygraph test because we drew straws. We didn't draw straws. And I've told Travis for 35 years before Paranormal Witness came out that we didn't draw straws. They came after me and they wanted me and, you know, and, oh, no, 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 you know. And so when Paranormal Witness came out, the guy that took the polygraph test, he even said, you know, we took the youngest one first, but we, we thought he was going to flunk it because, you know, because uh, he was the youngest and, uh, you know, you know what I mean? And then yeah, if yeah. you watch, if you watch Travis, the one that Jennifer Stein did, he even talks about me even more being, uh, uh, um, you know what I mean? Being the one they wanted first. They thought I was going to crack cause I was the youngest. And so they, if they, they, they took me first, they wouldn't have to give everybody else the polygraph test because they would know what happened. You know what I mean? Because when I got there, when I got when I got there with my mom, I even told Travis my mom was with me. So a lot of moms were there. I said, no, they weren't. My mom was the only one allowed in there besides the cops, the guy taking the polygraph test, and all of us, right? They were all over 21. I was a minor. My mom had to be in there. So that's, that day scared me more than seeing Travis getting zapped. Doing the test. Yeah, doing the I test. I can imagine. Yeah. Yeah, I learned that day, never do anything you can't pass a polygraph test on. So I won't say anything I can't pass a polygraph test on. So don't try to coerce me. <laughs> no, no, no. There's, there's, <laughs> listen, there's, 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 there's none of that from me. You might get that from Rich, not from me. No, I'm joking. Um, <laughs> the Rich... Do you, do you want to ask anything on the back of that? Uh, not not at the moment. No, I appreciate it. Um, the only thing I was thinking was when you saw the the beam hit Travis. What went through your mind? I know I haven't heard every every one of your interviews, so I can't remember. But I always re wanted to hear that answer. What went through your mind when you saw that? You are you really want the truth? For sure. <laughs> yeah. I was That's raised. Pretty... I was raised Pentecostal. I'm a holy roller, right? and my, you know, and my mom's always telling me the world's coming to an end. The world's coming to an end, and I've been hearing that for 64 years. She might be a little bit off, but I think if she's her prophecy is going to come true eventually. <laughs> well, anyway, um, uh, that's what I was thinking. I thought the world was coming to an end. I could see that. The and then, um. Steve, what, what, uh, what was your what was your instinct did, did you want to get out of there or did you want to go out there and go grab travis and bring him back i i was in like a i couldn't move you were wedged in with everybody else no i wasn't wedged in oh okay we, we weren't wedged in i didn't <laughs> I, I i couldn't move i couldn't i couldn't i couldn't say a word Wow. They, they're saying that we all were screaming at him and stuff, you know. Yeah, the movie, I didn't yeah. scream at him. I never said a word. And, you know, everybody said, well, your Travis said, well, for five days, I didn't say much of anything. But anyway, at that second of time, I, I couldn't say anything. I was like, you know, 
speechless what I just saw. I was like, I need a joint, man. <laughs> I hear you. <laughs> I need to go home and smoke one. Shit, what the hell is this? Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I guess, um, yeah, you were mentally frozen. Just somebody said that in the chat room. I thought that was a good way to describe it. I've been there. It's a scary... I can't imagine what you saw, but... Man, if I would have seen that, I probably imagined I would have felt the same. People think they're, oh, yeah, I'm going to get my camera and start taking pictures. You never know how you're going to act. I can't yeah, imagine people, what. Yeah, people told me so many times, this is what I would do. Yeah, right. Yeah, you yeah. ain't going to know what you're going to do until it happens to you. You know, right. and, you know, and people in that book that says I cried, too. I am not the one that actually cried and fell apart. You could ask John Goulet, you know, the other guy. And, and if this is safe, me and John come on together. But anyway, maybe he don't want to do it anymore. John's tired of this. And I was kind of curious why uh, the guy to pay for me to come on here wanted me to come on here. Because I thought it was going to be you, you were going to set me up somehow or something. <laughs> no, we don't, we, we, no, we don't do that here, mate. Uh, you know, it's it's not about that. It's about it's about trying to find out what this paranormal UFOlogy, whatever, whatever it is, whether it's aliens, you know, I, whether it's, I, whether it's I demons, never, I don't know. I never even seen a gray until the internet came out. You know, I never knew about none of this stuff until the internet came out. And the first time I ever been on the internet was 12 years ago when I got a, a Facebook and got a hold of Travis because my daughter wanted because we I broke my neck, I fell off a load and I was home. They, my neck's all bolted together on my disability. Well, we're watching them. I got the movie Fire in the Sky, and I told my daughter, she's about 12, 13, 14, something like that. And I told her, I said, that's, that's me. I'm, the Henry <laughs> Thomas is me in the movie. Well, how can your name has changed? I said, I don't know, but that's me in the movie. The, the kid so from E.T. Yeah, the little boy from E.T., Henry Thomas, yeah. I, I always uh, wondered why they didn't use your real name. But Travis said they couldn't find me, but I, I don't know. I think Travis really didn't want me, my name in the first place. That's the way I look at it. Me and Travis ain't been never really got along anyway. Why is that? I dated, really Dana before he, I dated Dana before he did. He he never got over it. So it's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, li it's literally about young love. He'll do it every yeah. time. <laughs> <laughs> and, we'll, and we'll leave it at that. In <laughs> uh, 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 you want to get do? on my Facebook and read my story. <laughs> but go on. Uh, you there? I'm here, mate. I'm here. So, w one thing that that has been mentioned, seeing as we are on the bit of the ship, and I definitely want to get into your life. But the this people asking if there was a noise, and and I've heard people say that there was a noise coming from the craft. Did did you hear anything? From it the was craft? like a, um, it was, there was like a, a beeping noise and then a humming noise. And then it started, see, this is why, this is how people say, well, it was a tower. If it was a tower, how did we see it move? Because it rocked back and forth, you know? And the only thing that saves me and, and, and not kicking Mike's butt, even if he is sick in bed, because he's been causing a lot of trouble with Travis, you know what I mean? And how did Mike pass the polygraph test on the day, if this is a hoax, people? You know, that guy that, uh, what's his name, Ryan, somebody that says he's got a tape of that tape they have out there. Have you heard that? Ryan Gordon, yeah, Ryan Gordon did send me. Well, the, that, I, I uh, believe that tape's been. That, I believe that tape has been messed with. That's my opinion, but anyway, you, that's what I heard too. I mean, I, I'll be honest with you. I've heard. I've heard the full tape. That that I've heard the full thing, right? Like off off air. Um, I've heard the full thing, and it, it didn't sound like he'd mess with it. But you know, you don't think you don't you don't think he messed with it. He's talking about from, the same from, person from, in two different conversations. Listen to it. Uh, listen to it real carefully. 
That's my well, opinion. But I wouldn't trust yeah. anything on tape anymore. I wouldn't trust anything right. on a video or anything else. You, I had to see it myself before I see it anymore. Believe it anymore. You know, it's Steve, like it's skin interesting. Walk, it's like Skinwalker Ranch. Come on, people. <laughs> Oh, Come no. On. Uh, you you want to talk about Skinwalker Ranch? Just go for it, guys. If you believe something's happened there, boy, I got some. <laughs> you know, I lived there for five years, people, back when Bigelow owned it. You know, there's nothing going on there. I, I, kicked, I, got, on kicked, I got kicked Luke off show. that place twice. Huh? You said that on Jessica Luke's show that there's nothing going on there. <laughs> Not when it comes to UFOs. Hmm. You think it's something different? Oh, yeah. Skinwalkers. I believe in skinwalkers. You want to see some skinwalkers, you need to go farther down into New Mexico in the Four Corners area, though. You know? Yeah. yeah. So. I See, I, I, I believe in the paranormal. I believe this is all. I know you do, it yeah. It has nothing to do with. Um, it's got nothing I, I to do with aliens. I don't think this has anything. It, it, no, I don't believe. I believe there's somebody out there, yes, but they're not greys. They're not lizard people. This is something that's been pe put in people's minds all these years, and this is what they're going to be expected to see. You know what so, I mean? So, so the UFO it, that you saw, do you do you don't think that was alien at all? Do you think that was maybe military? What what we saw? Yeah, yeah. I believe it was all mind control. I believe it had something to do with the government. You oh, know, wow. as, far as, okay. as far as I'm concerned, Travis never left Area 51, as far as I'm concerned. Huh. So did Alan Dallas. Alan Dallas thought it was all mind control, too, because of the way they were acting. I mean, um, Mike, when Mike stopped, he turned off the motor, right? And that, and before he stopped, Travis had the door open getting out, but he didn't actually get out until it was stopped. And then he gets out, and he's he's not walking straight up, but over to an angle to it towards it. You know what I mean? And because if he walked straight up to it when he got zapped, he would have hit the truck. You know? <laughs> and and um. And Mike was just totally, totally freaking out. And I'm not saying anything. A couple other people were, I think it was Alan was telling him to get back here, you know. And I couldn't tell you who was really screaming. You know what I mean? And um, then Travis looked back and he had a strange look on his face, man. And this thing started rocking back and forth. Rocking. It was rocking. If you could convince me how that tower rocked and how Mike passed the polygraph test, you know, I might believe this was a hoax. Now, Travis, uh, I mean, the book said that the five days of Travis was gone about Mike, but Mike wrote all that for him. And, and, and 50 years ago, there was no Internet. You know what I mean? So how yeah. would he ever, you know? Yeah, so, no Internet at all. Nothing. Yeah, it's. It's amazing that that story went global as big as it did. But um, so you guys, uh, you definitely won the contest, right, that they had for the magazine. What was it, the National Enquirer? That had nothing to do with me. Oh, okay. That, your, uh, yeah, your I picture remember. was I in that. I, I, re, I, re, I, I refuse to have anything. I don't know. Um, oh, that's... Your picture wasn't taken, was it? Your picture wasn't taken. Yeah, my anything. picture's done in there. I, Did you I not get any of the money? To do with it. Um, you see, you see, um, I think it was the second or the third night. Alan, I, I found, I saw Alan Dallas at the Circle K. That's where everybody hung out in Snowflake, and um. He told me that National Enquirer was at the motel room across the street. And um, uh, they, they, they wanted us to talk to him. So I went over there and 
he told us to keep quiet. And I think he might have gave me thirty or forty dollars cash, but um, but that was the last time I ever saw him. You know, you know what I mean? I didn't talk to National Enquirer again because I didn't want I, you know, I didn't want to have anything to do with it. You know, the only reason I was initially asking that question, I was going to go into if it. Because Travis and Mike were known as the guys who saw UFOs when they were kids running around the neighborhoods playing, we're abducted, you know, and all that. So I'm wondering if if you felt like maybe, I know it was asked in the beginning of the show, but, and you said you it could have happened. You could have been duped into thinking there was something going on because Mike getting as excited as he did was, you know, ramping everybody up. Oh my God, we, we got to get the more nervous and get a, get an action so Travis can go hide, you know, and take off. Did you get the feeling? I, I doubt you had that feeling, though, because that wouldn't be in the back of your mind, oh, I'm being faked. But the whole thing you said could have been a mind thing, but yet you saw it. So what was it that you saw, a real UFO, or do you think it was government? Government, uh, oh, you know, bet. like I, the Tic Tac or something, I don't know. Disc. I believe it was the government. Okay, okay, that's where I was going. I've always right. said that. Okay. I've always said that. You know, I, I believe that as far as they went was Area 51. Because when Travis came back, I don't know. Um, did, um, he look de- did he look depleted, tired, thinner? F- five o'clock shadow? What? Did Travis look like he was tired? You know, did he look like he lost weight when he got back? Did you Were you there when he got back? The day or two after? No. Oh, no, okay. I, I didn't see Travis for, I don't know, it was a couple of weeks, a month. Oh, okay. You know, I can't yeah. remember exactly when. Um, but it, it wasn't no next day, that's for sure. Yeah, it, yeah. it was a couple, three weeks. You mentioned it shaking this 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 object so that i mean i don't know if 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 it is the gentry tower and and thank you bobby dazzler as again uh for the super chat i appreciate it if it was the gentry tower how would you shake the gentry tower you know that how would i what because you said you saw it shaking this this yeah. uh, this object yeah. in the sky. It's not shaking. Go, it was rocking back and forth. You know what I mean? Does does the jet? Like, like, like does the jet? Build, it was building up power, yeah. and then was, that that's when the light came out and zapped him. And was that light anything? Different? I'm having a hard time hearing you. Sorry, was that light like anything that you'd seen before um, in terms of like, could it have been a torch or like a really bright torch? No, I've never seen that light before or after. Well, there you I've go. never, you know, I was going down uh, back in the day, you know, I drove a truck all my life and I was heading down. Highway 666, Mark of the Beast. And uh, that's, that's, that's a lot of paranormal stuff going on that highway. I had a couple of good experiences on that one. Either that, I was, way, I was up way too long. <laughs> uh-uh. I'm the reason, I'm the reason they, the, the government started making truck drivers take piss tests. <laughs> Give me a California turnaround, hell. <laughs> uh, um, Dave did say we'd have fun with you. Truck driving ain't fun. Yeah, truck driving ain't fun no more. They, there's too many rules and too many people. You said it saved you on Jessica Jessica Luke's show. You said truck driving saved you. Yeah. What do you mean by I was, that? Um, I wasn't going anywhere. This for years after this happened. My mind was just, I, I didn't know what to believe anymore. Is there a God? You know, is my mom, what my mom's been telling me all these years is not true. You know, uh, is there really, did I really see some kind of alien craft? You know, 
that would mess with your mind, dude. I'm telling you. Especially if he's somebody religious, yes. Yes. Especially being at 17 years old. And then, and then my family, they, they thought I was nuts anyway because, you know, they thought Travis was lying anyway. They thought, you know, I don't have any brothers that actually believe that, that Travis was in, with, with, with aliens. Are there any rumors route, route that was going around the town what actually did happen? Do what now? Has there been any rumors that went around the, t the town that you all came from about what actually did happen that anybody may have not discussed before? That what happened that night about people maybe... Because I've heard a lot of people say that some of you guys that was on that truck may have been led into a um, a hoax and you guys would have believed that that was an actual UFO. Do you believe that is possible, Steve, that you guys could have been fooled and that's the reason why you passed the lie detector test because you thought Travis got abducted by aliens at the time? Well, how did Mike maybe, pass it? Maybe Mike's in on it. Well, how did Mike pass the polygraph test if he's in on it? I have no idea. There was polygraph tests. Some polygraph tests got failed, though, didn't they? No, just Alan. Da no, nobody failed. Alan Dallas refused to rip this off. Said he wasn't going to do it because they, at, you know, you're trying to set me up. Because a couple of days before that, Alan's mom was saying that they were going to set this up, and make us look guilty. So you think there's because, no possible? Because he, because I, huh? No, go on. Sorry, Steve. You were speaking. Because when we got through with the polygraph test, I was the first one. and They put me out back in a cage where the prisoners went for the day to get outside for the day. And then every two hours, somebody else would show up until, all, until we were all done. They left us in a cage. So they, wow. they thought we were guilty in the first place, you know. So that was, was a bad the day. I'm poor mom. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. I can imagine. Yeah. Be because for for most of the people in the town, they, they thought you'd killed Travis. Yeah. Yeah. And at the time, you thought you was going to get done for murder. Yeah, that's true. Rich? I just can't imagine going through that. I mean, that's like the biggest fear. You know, it's... Uh, being blamed for something. I, I did want to go backwards a little bit because we you, we just touched on Skinwalker. Steve, you, you did say you uh, you saw. Did did you say you saw them or experienced it? And if you did, what was that like? Can you give me an ex the story? Um, what Skinwalker Ranch? I, yeah, I've yeah, never seen no aliens yeah. at Skinwalker Ranch. No, no, Skinwalkers. You said yeah, you believed in them, those... right? Oh, I believe in Skinwalkers. Yeah, I believe that that uh, that uh, the you can change, you know. But to see, that's paranormal. That's a whole, you know. That's it. But it seems like people get them two mixed together anyway. Ufology and you know what I mean. It's all combined. I think. I think 100%. so too. I think so I too. really do. Yeah. You know, uh, I, I, after doing this for like 16 years, I've been doing it 18. It's only the last two years I've come to that conclusion because of things I've experienced. I, I just can't say these things exist without experiencing them. So I'm just curious what you experienced with the skinwalker, if anything. I mean, what was that like? Did you? Experience a skinwalker? I'm just curious. Steve? Steve? Can't hear you. Steve, you there, mate? Can you hear me? There yeah, you yeah. are. We can, we can hear you. 
We thought you'd been abducted then. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a great show. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'll I, I, I get more likely shot before I get abducted. So the, <laughs> there's the odds right there. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. That, that, you know, that, that's just crazy. But anyway, what were you saying? Just curious if, because uh, you said you believed in skinwalkers more than than aliens, right? So did you ever experience a skinwalker, at, you know, either by dream or reality, you know, while you're awake? I don't have dreams. I, if I do, I don't remember. Oh, wow. You're not sleeping like long hours or something? I can go to sleep for eight hours and not wake up. I can put myself into a trance and just go to sleep and not wake up for eight hours. Okay. And so I, you're and not I, dreaming. It, it, wow. And if wow. I'm dreaming, if I'm dreaming, I don't remember the dream. They say everybody dreams anyway. So, but if, you know, I, every once in a while I might dream. I don't know, but I'm, I'm saying that I usually don't either. I don't dream. Or I don't remember. Them. Hmm. When you're a truck driver, for 40 years you're learning to go to sleep when you know when you lay down you go to sleep it's something that, that you just it, it's programmed in you because you sleep all different kinds of hours so yeah yeah so i that can lay sense. down i can lay down for eight hours and, and and sleep it makes the wife mad because she has to get up three times to pee <laughs> it's usually the guy that has to do that. Yeah. Yeah, I, I ain't got no problem yet. <laughs> mm. You mentioned, uh, and I, I keep going back to it because it was a great, it was a great show on when a great interview that uh, Jessica Loops did with you. Uh, you mentioned you had a photograph. You you captured something on Skinwalker. Yeah. Yeah. You can't really tell what it is. I'm not going to show it on Facebook. I learned that a long time ago, right? You know, the polygraph test, you see that out there? Those are mine. You know, you, you look on the, if you look on the internet, it's in Travis's name now. It makes you wonder why it's in Travis's name. But anyway, the two, the two copies of them, my mom got those um, a couple of days after this happened. And they were never shown until 11-11-11. At the first time me and Travis met after all those years, that was the first time me and Travis seen each other. It was 11, 11, 11. And I didn't see him before that until the set the, the, was in the seventies. So, so what did you see? What did you, what did you take a picture of? What do you think it was? Um, I don't know. Then, then we seen something running by and we really couldn't tell what it was. I don't know. If you ever see me in person, I'll show you the picture. It's by the gates. You know where they, you know how they used to have the, the um, um, uh, those two gates that that with the with the alien know. on it. No, they they used to have they used to keep a calf inside, see if somebody would come down and oh yeah and eat it. Yeah, it's it's over by there, but um, and I've been on the property. I tell you what though. There's one place on the property, your hair stands up. A few on, people on, have said this. It's the weirdest thing I ever seen, man. Who said that? I think Jessica said Jessica said this because she spent a lot of time on Skinwalker. Dave's told me this. You mean and er Erica? Erica, sorry, Jessica. It's okay. Erica. Erica. We, we don't we don't get Ericas in the UK. We get Jessicas. That's why I said that. Yeah, Erica oh. said that. Um, that because she, she spent a lot of time on them, and she said that there is places that will make your hair stand on edge. Dave, uh, that the that, that kindly paid for you to come on my show. I don't know yeah. why. I love the guy. He's great, Dave. I'm going to send you something, my friend. Um, but he he said the same thing. Oh, you know, the, okay. The, there is there's places on that this in that area that that are just weird, and you can't explain why. Yeah, yeah. Um, the first time, the first time I went, I kind of blew it. Okay, uh, I was uh, working for a um, for a guy to take pictures and go out there and take some pictures, and I sold the pictures, some of the pictures to him, and um, it's, there's even a, a YouTube video 
it, it shows my pictures I took. Um, but anyway, the first time I kind of blew it because I went to the police department asking where it was. And so when I got out there, well, guess who was waiting at the gate? <laughs> uh, the guards were waiting at the gate. <laughs> uh, you can't come in here. <laughs> and then after that, um, I started going back and started going back. I'd hang out. Uh, I know that place inside and out, and they even, uh, the last time I was there, though, it's been four or five years, because um, I, I lived in Utah with one wife, then I lived in, in Wyoming with another wife, so I took two different wives there, been chased off there with two different wives, you know, so for five years... When you say being chased off there with two different wives, are you, are you talking about your wives or wives have chased you off the ranch? No, my wives. I, I was. I got divorced when I first started hanging out there. I was married to one woman, right? And we got divorced, and then I met up with another girl, and we ended up getting married, and and then so I took her there too. You know, I've been I've been to a lot of crazy places. But I don't believe there's no portal there. That's what people think there is. <laughs> it's, it's, it's just walk on through and see what's on the other side. Hell. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> see a little Jim Morrison in there. <laughs> Take on two through the other side. <laughs> that's, that's what I, don't believe, I, I, don't, I don't believe that's possible. Yeah. I don't believe that you can be vibrated through a building and you know, um, uh, a lot of this stuff I don't believe. Now, I was with a girl up in Maine about five or six years ago, and uh, we were kicking back, and and uh, this spirit-looking thing that was uh, a dark, dark, cloudy object came through her wall, and it passed us, and it went out the window. Well, I didn't say nothing, and she looked at me, and she said, is that one of your friends? And uh, I looked at her, you saw that? And she says, yeah, I saw that. I kind of blew my mind. You still there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So so what do you actually think it is then, Steve? Because you, one thing that really stuck out to me on Erica's show is when you said it's not aliens. It's not alien. It's some kind of, you know, um, that the, I believe in the, uh, the um, you know, the fallen angels and, you know, the, the giants and... You know the I mean? Nephilim. Yes. I believe this is all Bible related. S is, that where you're get is that where you're getting at? Yeah, yeah, this is what I want. This is the, this is what I'm wanting to get into with you, Steve, what, because there's there's a strong reason why you believe that Travis wasn't abducted by aliens, and that's what I want to know why. I believe it was mind control. I believe they were sitting there waiting for us. They knew we were there. They were sitting there waiting for us. We were guinea pigs. And, you know, Travis is the weakest link. He's the only one that could get out of the truck. <laughs> uh, uh, he's the only one he, they can mind control to get out of the truck I don't know you, you know he, uh, Travis knows I, I, I believe it was mind control and he, he, he'll he he tell you that uh, Alan Dallas thought it was too and he also will tell you that uh, uh, once you're mind control they can make you believe that uh, what you're saying is what, what, what happened to him is true true see I believe Travis believes what he's saying because it's been put in his brain. Right. You see what I'm saying? So, yes, I don't believe it happened, but I believe Travis believes it happened. You, you see what I'm saying? You believe Travis saw the greys and he saw the... No, the in his mind. In his mind. and But then he... Uh, I mean, it's interesting because he saw two humanoid-looking creatures. Well... More human-looking creatures as well. Well, when you're mind control, they can put anything in your mind. 
They can make you think you're you're anything you you know. They can make you believe things, you know. See what I'm saying? Yeah, I see. We, I see. I, I, I completely see what you're saying. Um, I, I'm just, I'm just wondering why. I'm trying to think why you, why you boys, when you're out there, when you're doing your job, you know, you, you, do you, you think this was set up for anybody that was out there, just, just as an experiment? You, do you think it? Do you think this, this is because they wanted this story, this story to happen? I don't know. I, I'm still confused about it. You know, I, I believe it the way that Alan does because I can't I can't put it in my mind that Travis was playing, you know, Luke Skywalker and in, in, in space. You know. You know that part where he's got that thing he's, uh, that the tube and he's back he's you know what I mean, he's fighting him. Mm. Are you there? Are you there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. sorry, so do I need to turn my mic up a bit? Mm. Yeah, we're here, we're here, Steve. We're here. Um, the 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 problem I have with that is why, after all these years, do you guys still not get on? You know, why is why is there this malice there? And because it. <laughs> Can you tell there's something? Oh, come on, man. You can't do this. You can't. We all love each other. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm all right by saying that Travis has taken the majority of the, uh, he's benefited the most out of all of you, obviously, out of this. Because um, he's left us out of it. You know? Is that's, that not where why, that, that's not why I'm mad at him. So I'm like, mad at him because the, the book, the stuff in that stuff in that book ain't true. You know, I, I'm I'm written in eight different paperback books, and not one of them's got the damn story right. Yeah, I've heard that. You know, come on, you know, at least get my part right. You know, that's all I'm asking. That's all John's asking. It says in that book that we we chased down some pickup truck. It was John's idea. That never happened. You know. If you're going to tell our story, because I'd never tell Travis a story. Never. Never. Because it ain't my story. I wouldn't there. So I can't tell you if it happened or not. But I could tell you the cops were in my face for all of that fucking day thought we killed him. That turned me a bitter person in five days. That five days must have been the hardest thing for a seven, 17, 17. Yeah. Am I right by saying, yeah, yeah. I can't imagine. Yeah. Rich. Yeah. yeah, I can't either. Think you're going to go to prison yeah. for something you didn't do. Forget about it. Yeah. But, uh, alien girl threw down a nice question here for she you. Did. Steve $5 super chat. She's asking if you believe that Travis, Travis simply believes. What do you think? He saw in the woods. And he saw the same thing we saw in the woods. What do you mean? Yeah, well, yeah, that's that's the question. She's just curious what you think he saw. What could it have been different from what you saw, maybe from the angle? I don't know. Yeah, because he got out of the car. Yeah. Um, uh, I don't know. I we both saw we all saw the same thing. Yeah. But I don't know. I, 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 it's either believe that it was mind controlled, it was a hoax, because there's no way I'm believing Travis was in space with eight, with some grays for five days. I, I understand. Oh yeah, I've never smoked that enough. I've never smoked that much pot. <laughs> you know. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean, you you are in. I, I don't in... believe anybody out there that says they they've been with grays. It's hard. This is the hardest thing to believe. And for for six people who saw it with their own eyes and were still doubting it, it, it no, tells you how badly we we don't trust anybody. It's hard, man. I I like your I like what happened. I've been a fan of Travis forever, but lately all this 
But it all happened. of this turmoil has just been nutty. Because it says on the internet, Travis is worth $7 million. Mike want part of that. Oh, yeah, that's right. You know? Does he deserve think, it? Uh, 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 does Mike deserve it? Yeah. I think he owes us all something. Because it wasn't for us, he wouldn't have a story. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Um, a couple of questions for you, Steve, from, from, from the chat. Joe K wants to know how he buys you a case of beer. <laughs> he's just bought me one and uh, thank you thank you mate and uh, we've got uh, members uh, Josh and Artemis uh, have just asked quite a good question here uh, question how about the 2.5k they won for entering the National Inquiry uh, Best UFO Story Contest do what now? The twenty five hundred dollars. She's uh, they're asking about. I I, the, I never got any of that money. I wasn't there. My picture's not in there. You don't yeah, see we, my picture. We, of, yeah, we talked about this earlier, Josh and I yeah. on the show. But uh, yeah, he didn't get anything out of it. He wasn't there, and I think I don't know if they're asking about. Uh, I think why they're asking why why did you why did you not want any of that money, Steve? <laughs> oh. Uh, seriously mm-hmm. seriously why did you not want it 17 year old guy i had a f- fucking part of my french but loved that money. they're selling themselves out we saw something you know <laughs> that nobody else has ever seen and they ran for the money and they've been running for the money ever since that's what's wrong with mike now it's all about money to them now it ain't about the story they want to see how fast they can fill their pockets up before they die. Does does Mike see any of this money? I don't know. I haven't talked to Mike in a while. I pissed him off. I don't know. He was talking shit about Travis for a while on his Facebook, but then now it says they're buddies again. So I don't know. I don't. I, I, I don't know. I talked to Travis on the phone a couple of days ago and talked about a couple of things, but. Um, I told him not to give Mike my phone number because I, I don't have nothing to do with him. I, I don't want He's lied. And there's a couple other things, too, he did to me. After this happened, um, um, uh, I was, it, it was like this happened a couple months later. I got a job trimming these trees and for this guy. And, and Mike underbid me and took my, took my job away. And I was trying to buy a wedding band to get married in February because that's that's when I left home, February the 14th. That's when I got married on Valentine's Day. And uh, he screwed me out of that money. So that's – we don't get along. Me and Mike don't get along. And you'll never get along. I could do anything to make a dollar. So that's what different – that's the difference between me and them. I – I'm not rich, but I ain't poor. I've always had what I needed, you know, but, you know, to just keep making money and money and money and money and, and, and not worry about the next person, you know, because to me, all of us something because we're the backbone of a story. You see what I'm saying? You really are the backbone of the story. Without you guys, there is no story. It's just one hey, guy that went missing. I might. Sorry, I'm just saying you really are the backbone of this. That we lost, Steve. Am I right by saying that, Rich? He, that those those guys really are the backbone of the story. Yes, because they support Travis's claims that he was abducted by this UFO, even though they didn't see him go into it. They all yeah. saw something, and according to uh, Steve, he doesn't think it was a, an alien craft. He thinks it was maybe a mind-altering experience or one of our UFOs that we have, which would only be 30 years after Roswell, give or take a few years. He's Are back, Steve. Where is Steve? And Joe Kay's just bought me a case of beer. Thank you very much, Joe Kay. <laughs> I'm uh, back. 
You back my lad. There he is. He's here with a vengeance. We were just... <laughs> what we're saying th- there is that you guys are the backbone of the story. You you really are. Without you guys, the story falls to pieces. That's right. And Travis just doesn't, you know, you know, realize that, I guess. I don't know. And and the you you you've mentioned Ryan Gordon. I know Ryan Gordon. I, I you know he's he's been on the show before. I know you that some people don't get I get all I get along with Ryan. I, I've got no problems with him whatsoever. You guys I got no problem some, with him. No, I'm not. I, some of you have had problems with Ryan, um, but he he did do some work with you guys. Am I right by saying that? He didn't, he didn't do no work with me. I told him no. Not you. No. It must have been Mike or Travis. But did he approach you? Yeah, he, he, he we talked on the phone and emailed each other a couple of times. Right. And what what did he? Suggest he, he told me it was a hoax. They wanted me to come out and um, <coughs> come out and say it was a hoax, too. <coughs> Excuse me, yeah. And, no, I, I um, don't believe that you think it was a hoax. Me, I, no. I honestly, I, I honestly, I, I think if it was a hoax, I think you, you, you're, you, you're, a, you're a part of that hoax, but not knowingly by the sounds yeah, of if, it. If, 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 if this was a hoax. What they put my mother through, they better pray to God they're both dead the day she dies. Because, you know, but the only way that I would ever believe this was a hoax if Travis came out and said, you know, this was a hoax. Because to me, the way Mike's acting, you know, it's mind control. They, they mess with his mind way too much, man. You know? Steve, how many lives has this case affected? Uh, I'm I'm not talking about people that are just getting involved and uh, and maybe doing documentaries of it. I'm talking about personal lives when it comes to your families. Uh, has this affected a lot of your families in a negative way, positive way? Both, mostly negative. And strange thing is, you never know how somebody's going to react when you tell them the story. Like I was dating this girl and uh, uh, and I didn't tell her the story at first, you know. And then one night we were drinking and I told her the story and and uh, she goes, cool, let me talk to Travis. And so I said, okay. I called Travis. Said, hey, Travis, this girl wants to talk to you because I told her about the movie and everything. And, you know, well, I gave her the phone and she just cussed Travis out one, one way, one, I mean, I mean, she just let him have it, call him a liar. This is, you know. So I took the phone back and hung up the phone. And me and her broke up after that one. <laughs> so you never know how people are going to react. We did a show. Me and Travis did a show in New Mexico, right? And, uh, and partway through the show, this woman gets up and she's drunk. She's drunk. And, I mean, she is totally wasted. And she starts calling us names, calling us liars and stuff, you know. And so finally they set her back down. And a few minutes later, she got back up and started screaming at us again, calling us, you know. So finally they had to escort her out. So you, you, you just don't know how people are going to react when you tell them the story. Yeah, I, I, it, it's going to be a funny story to tell to somebody that you've never, the you know, especially that's new into your life. Oh, by the way, this happened. Especially, well, so, I, especially if somebody is not interested it in whatsoever in aliens or UFOs. You know, I can't imagine how that conversation must have gone down. Yeah, a lot of people don't believe in that stuff. So, so I have what, a lot of Americans. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know all kinds of Americans that don't believe in that. Well, according to the statistics, the, the statistics, you know, the the it's yeah, what is it rich of that. Americans? Yeah, statistics of uh, Americans no, believe in aliens. It's not even. It's not even fit. It's not even fifty fifty. I'm sure I, I read it was higher than that something like eighty twenty. That twenty percent don't. That we Americans believe oh. seventy five to eighty percent that there right, is there life go. out there, and it's like. Uh, 
I think on just under 50 that they visited. What did you say? I think it's all, it's 80% that Americans believe there's Domestic alien Earth. life outside our planet, but under 50% that they believe they visited Earth. So how many believe it? 80. That Well, f under 50, it's like 48% believe that we haven't been visited by aliens. So it's 50-50. Yeah. Yeah, it's gone up the last couple of years because of all the hoopla. Mm -hmm. I can guarantee you, I can walk around here and ask people around here where I live and they tell you they don't believe it. Yeah, it, it depends where you live, too. That's for sure. I, I don't know. I live I live in the uh, UFO capital of Alabama. You know what it is? People don't want to admit it to other people either. They still have that fear. I mean, they, people, where I, where, where I yeah. live, they had a big old UFO here back in the 80s. And the strangest thing, they had mutilated cows, too, when that happened. Yep. Why do they love them cows? I don't know. Maybe they need gasoline. I don't know. Petrol. Maybe, maybe they like steak. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Well, they drain the blood. I think it has to do with their blood. Blood. I, I think it's DNA. I, I don't know. Maybe. Or they I like know. it. Or they drink it. Who the heck knows, man? They're aliens. Uh, <laughs> That's the government. I think the government's doing all that. Yeah. You think the uh, governments are doing it? Is yeah, I think yeah. Cause they don't do it anymore. I haven't heard of one in, in since the eighties, right? Yeah. When, mm. when was the last time you've heard anybody when the cows being mutilated? I thought Not around here a couple anyway. of months ago there was some Where? something going on. I'll have to look it up, but I thought what, the same what thing country? as you. What part of the country? What, what I part think of it the was world? in. Uh, I think it was like in New Mexico. In New Mexico. Yeah, I'll look it up real quick. See if I can find wow. it. Yeah, they're still going on, just not as uh, abundant. You think that if it was the government, they would just have their own cows and breed their own and have their own farm of cows? That's no, what's no. so weird. Why do they go all over? Is it to? To get the cows what they've eaten in different parts of the world, seeing how pesticides are working, and I don't know, man, it it's weird. Abductions don't the those cattle mutilations don't make sense. I don't know. It's yeah. worse in the states. They the cows get mutilated. In the UK, the the cows usually get uh, as sexually assaulted. You know, it, there's some randy old buggers that end up walking into farmers' fields. Oh, Disgusting. That stinks. So, 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 Steve. Only in England, huh? <laughs> Only in England, mate. Yeah, no, no. It's, it's disgusting. Everybody says that around there. Only in Alabama. <laughs> mm -hmm. you, you mentioned fallen angels, and um, you're, a, you're a religious guy. So, Travis talked about alien greys on that, on that ship. Have you ever looked into, uh, I don't know if you've heard of Alistair Crowley? Okay, I, I, I know who you're talking about. So he drew, can you see the screen right now? Can you, can you see, if I bring something up on the screen, a picture, can you see it? Yeah, no. So if, if I put a picture right now on the screen, can you see, see that it. picture? Yeah, I yeah. see it. So that's yeah. Alistair Crowley, and he drew a, a picture of a... Um, a de well a a creature that he was speaking to uh to me that looks very similar to a gray I, th I think my question to you is with you not believing in aliens and being a religious man do you is it possible that that what Travis did see was demons is that what you're saying or you think it's just government that just put those gray images into his head they just pop the images in his head. Right. So do you think there's nothing to the gray? To the this gray alien that every that everybody sees all over the world, do you think that's just the government thing that they've created? Well, I don't know if it was a government who created the grays, but yes, wh whoever um, you know, this is what people expect them to, to look like. So it's in their minds already for the past 50 years, you know? So, 
I don't know. I don't have the answers, man. I, no, I know. I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm, just I'm, I'm literally just wondering what your thoughts are on this creature that everybody is depicted all over the world. Um, you know, it's 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 an icon, an iconic image. Uh, is that alien gray? Well, and and pro- uh, probably because of tra- some of it because of tra- Travis, maybe. Yeah, probably. That's what I believe too. Part of this has to be what we. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Would you ever? I don't know. Uh, huh? Would you? I mean, if you were offered to meet up or do a show with all seven of you, well, there's not seven of you left now. Uh, some of you have sadly is is it two of you that have sadly passed away? Yeah, two of them have passed away. Yeah. Yeah, would you would you do a re- reunion? You know how much money that would cost. Well, let us know. I don't know. Someone, I'm, you you some, would have to fly us all together, and you'd have to pay every one of us to do it because none of us are going to do it for free. So you know, and I don't think John would go if Mike's going. I don't think Mike would go if John's going. So. <laughs> who knows yeah I would do it you pay me to go somewhere with this meet them I'd do it because here's the crazy thing for me so there's loads of people and I'm just going to give it to you straight there's loads of people that think this this is a I've put a, I've put a uh, a poll up right now but only mm-hmm. 50 only 59 percent of the audience believe that it was a hoax that's 59 percent. I don't. I think if it was a hoax, I think you have been duped. I think, and if it was, if it was, I'm saying if it was, Steve, you, the wool has been pulled over your eyes, and you thought that was a whatever that was. You you believed that, but what I'm saying, if if anybody, if this is a hoax, and I, I'm interested to hear what Rich thinks here, if it actually is, the money to be made. Of say uh, of revealing it as being a hoax is probably bigger now than the story that Travis tells. And I'm not saying that it's a hoax, but what I'm saying is, if this was, if this was put together, and maybe two, three people made you guy made five guys on that truck believe that it was a hoax. I know this. Wow. And I'm saying, I'm saying five because I think five of you may be unaware. I think there's probably two of two that maybe were aware if it was a hoax. But the money there for a hoax is bigger. And nobody. What are you going to get all this money if it's a hoax? Who's going to get the money, Travis? (laughs) <laughs> well, I, don't, I, don't. I, I don't know. I, I don't know what you mean by there's more money in it if it's a hoax. Put it this way: if one you, of you, you, came, you came, want to do what Ryan told me, Ryan says, "Hey, man, say it's a hoax, and we'll sell tickets and take no, people, I, get, I, a, get a bus and go down there to the to the uh, tower and uh, and have a bus tour." <laughs> oh my God! Is that what he told you? Yeah, <laughs> that's what he wants to do. He wants mm. to start a. a, a a bus and you know bus people up there and pay, make them pay and you know show, show them how they how they uh um you know hoaxed did everything it. and hoaxed yeah. it all wow that's just wrong <laughs> Be, most of the people in refrology is wrong yeah i hear you i mean i mean people people have told me so much stuff and they say oh we, <laughs> and and then once they get it they you know, they, they, they fuck you and they don't use no Vaseline, you know? Yeah, I know. I mean, I mean <laughs> people in ufology are hard, are hard on people. They're, they're, they're mostly users. They're, they're after their own little gang. They want to be the first person with the biggest story, you know? You know? Yeah. So. Yeah, 100% right. So, sorry, Steve, that really tickled me, that what you just said, because we say something a little bit similar like that, but we just say lube. 
not, oh. not Vaseline <laughs> in the UK. It's hilarious, mate. <laughs> I don't know. Um, there's enough evidence in my own mind. If I wasn't, if I was out of the box and not in the box, if I stepped out and been somebody else and know the information that I have, yeah, I could see why people would think it was a hoax. But in, from, from your memory, everything, you, I mean, you must go back over this so many, you, I mean, you've probably gone over it, over it, over it till you're sick of it. Yeah, I used to have, I, I used to have really bad nightmares oh, when this first happened. That's how I could, I, I used to have to, had to have to block it out and, and I got really good at blocking yeah, that's oh, why you don't right. dream anymore, man. Yeah, yeah. You're like, forget it. I don't need it. I don't even want to dream about it. Hey, why? That, was a, that, that was a horrible five days. Oh, my God. Yeah. And, and you know what? In this last TV show we were on, uh, Travel Channel, whatever, um, you know, they didn't even bring in the polygraph test. They, they, uh, um, Went straight to this the alien story, you know, like, you know, that cracked me up. And, and Travis's brother uh, uh, said that something like my mom came and said they got him. I'm thinking, man, you 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 uh, watched way too much fire in the sky, dude, because that's what I said. They got him. <laughs> He's using my line. <laughs> he must be he must be getting senile. He's got to be 70 by now. <laughs> <laughs> Well, everybody's older than me, and I'm 64. So, um, uh, and Travis is was 21. He's what five years older than me. So his older brother, his brother, old brother, it's got to be over 70. Yeah, 71, I think. Yeah, sounds about right. Yeah. Did you get paid anything for finding this guy, Steve? No. Nothing. No, I never even knew about it until wow. I'm getting a I'm getting a load over there in, in uh, Barstow, California. Well, I'm I got a load, went to Barstow the way out, weigh my truck out, make sure I wasn't overgross, to get fuel, and and I went in and paid for the fuel, and I went back to use the restroom, and I was coming through the TV room, seeing if anybody was gonna drive for the rest of the night, and there was Travis Walton on HBO talking about the movie Fire in the Sky, and I was, wow, they made a movie about this. And I was a day and a half early for my load in, in uh, Louisiana. That night, that when I saw that, kind of freaked me out, and I never stopped driving until I got to where I was going. <laughs> and then I didn't see the movie until 2010. I still didn't see it until 2010. It was, you know, um, I broke my neck, and and I, I got the movie so my daughter could watch it. That's how. So I would never even get involved in this if it wasn't for my daughter wanting me to. Yeah, I've was, heard she, that. She was a kid and she was all into this. It was all, you know, and she's grown now. So, you know, <laughs> she's got her own life. <laughs> and that's why I really don't care if I come on a radio show or not. That's why I say you got to you got to pay me. You want me to do anything because, you know, you don't pay me. Fine. I don't care. I don't want to do it anyway. I mean, the story is so old anyway. Who cares? I mean. I don't. I don't know. I don't know why this is still a thing. Yeah, it's a pretty big deal, mate. You know, it. So many people that want to know if it was a hoax. How was it done? You know, and if it wasn't a hoax, then if it, then, if it was a um, hoax, Mike's the Mike's the mastermind. Because Mike's the one to figure it out. The you know, you know, the, uh, um, you know, they said about the tree girls and everything, you know, and yeah, well, I, I, I have an answer for the tree girls. We're, we're, this is our job. All right. We we're thinning the forest. We're taking all the, the small, anything five inches around and trimming the forest. Well, this is like taking the weeds out of the garden, take the weeds out. It's going to grow better. That's the reason those trees grew better because we thinned everything. It had more, you know, you know what I mean? 
Mm -hmm. So that's my answer to the tree thing. <laughs> Wait, I don't you, th with, uh, you thinned the trees out where the the UFO was? Yeah, you ever heard about the tree theory? The tree I have. Thing? Yeah, with yeah. the rings. With the rings. Yeah, the ring thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But I didn't know you guys cleared out, like, pulling weeds, like you said, made it wider and more open for him to grow. I didn't that's know what, that. That, that's, that was our job. We were thinning the forest yeah. out for fire, for fire protection. You know, when we, we, we went through, it, you, you, it was nothing left but big trees. We cut everything down and, and, and stacked them up and burned everything. Even where the UFO was? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. That's amazing. Okay. Well, that makes sense. And, 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 and my, you know, they said, well, the ring is longer on one side. Yeah. Well, it, 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 if you're ever there, the sun, where the mountain is, the way the sun sets, it hits exactly <laughs> where, the, where the rings are at. That, that's amazing. <laughs> that's it, amazing. Well, they, they don't tell you that. <laughs> uh, Ollie, did you know that? I didn't know that, no. That's amazing. <laughs> I did. <laughs> I could tell you a few other things, but you have to pay me for that, too. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, um, That's funny. I, I can make you wonder all day. But it'll cost me. <laughs> That's right. But you know what, Steve? I like the honesty. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nobody's this honest anymore. No, nah, that's fun. It, it's fun, man. I, we appreciate you, you know, being so candid. Because um, I know it hasn't been fun, you know, especially what's been, I don't know if you've been involved in, in what's been going on with the, all this hoaxing stuff. I, I mean, I know you talked to Ryan Gordon, but you pretty much. I talked much to Ryan Gordon. I talked to uh, uh, um, Charlie Weiser, that woman called yep. herself Charlie Weiser. <laughs> yeah. I, I talked to her. She's on my Facebook. I, yeah, I speak to Charlie. My, it's good. Uh, you know, I, I don't know if Charlie really, she says it's a woman, but I don't it know. It is. She is. It is? Yeah. She is? Yeah. Yep. Um, I don't know. If, if this was a hoax, well, I had nothing to do with it. And if it's a hoax, well, Travis owes a, peop, a lot of people money. <laughs> Uh, but I can guarantee you the first five days in that book didn't happen that way. Mm. Besides, our story is better. Than, the truth is better in that book. I don't understand why he didn't want the truth in there. You know, the cops chasing our, you know. Well, but the, the but, book's wrong. The film's wrong. Yeah. But what's interesting about the film, the in the film, the craft looks like it's it's, it. I don't know. It looks natural, and it looks like it it's something made that demons might come down on. I don't know. It's all. It's there's no buttons or anything. Now let me let me get this straight. Now I'm talking about the five days he's gone. Yeah. I don't I don't say anything about what Travis did in his five days. I wasn't there, so I'd never talk about it. But the five days that they talk about in the books you know, about us is not true. Everything in the movie about us is practically isn't true. The closest one so far is, is Paranormal Witness on the Sci-Fi Channel, um, Season 2, Episode 9. That's, that's the closest one. If you're going to believe anything, watch that. and I'd say that's 99.9% .9 true because there's a couple of things in there that I'm pretty sure they didn't have. What's the biggest <laughs> thing? <laughs> I, I love your laugh, Steve. What's the biggest thing that you want to clear up that wasn't true? If you had to clear up one thing, if you could change one thing about that book, what would it be? The five days the, uh, uh, about me in the book. Yeah, but Read if you could, yeah, uh, yeah. No, I'm saying if you could clear one thing up, just one thing, which bit would you clear up? The part about the uh, the cops coming to get me. I mean, want, want me to take the polygraph test instead of drawing straws. It says in the they, book we drew straws, and that we didn't draw straws. They picked you because you were the youngest. Yeah. 
they say that. I mean, if you if you watch Jennifer Stein, I I even sent Jennifer Stein a, 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 an email and tell him, hey, thank you for telling uh, making Travis book even more look like a lie. She never answered me back. <laughs> because if you if you watch the part about me when the, the guy took the polygraph test, what he's talking, and then read the book, it doesn't match. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, I do. That's that's my problem. Is this, that you know that I like to, you know them to change the book and. Put it the way it really happened. I mean, because Mike and Travis has never once asked me or John about that day. Never. He's That's never really got our odd. side. Yeah. You think they would have talked to everybody about that? Like when Travis got back, I would have called you, and if I was him, and said, "So what did you see?" You know, I would have done that. I would have went to yeah. all my friends. That's that's, that's interesting. Yeah. Hmm. I I don't understand why Travis would leave you boys behind in all this because it's, I, well I don't know maybe maybe to take all the money I don't know. Um, I'm not going to say that because I don't know if that's true. But Rich yeah. just said it. <laughs> well, he should. Travis should have said, "Let's get everybody involved." It's the only way I'm doing the movie. But it, that's but the it, right thing to do. Yeah. But again, all you boys make this story the story. Yeah, yeah. Whether you get on with Mike, whoever you know, it 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 doesn't matter. You boys make you men. Sorry, I I just say boys. I'm from the UK. Boys, lads, whatever. Uh, you make the story. Without you, the story is nothing. The story is just one guy that went missing. And said he so got you, you, by So you do you believe Travis? I don't know. My honest do, answer do, to, do, to, to do you believe do you believe that we saw something? I believe you saw something, Steve. I believe that well, maybe that's what of, most people tell me. We don't believe Travis, but we believe you guys did see something. I'm not saying I don't believe. I I'm not saying I. The reason why I asked you about it, it in the beginning. Do you think that it could have been Gentry's tower? And when you're saying it's shaking, and I'm asking you about the noise, is because I'm wondering how. The noise. What, how would they get? How would they get all that noise there? Yeah, I mean, would I, have to, I, 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 I mean I, this. We're talking the seventies, you know, so they didn't have all the stuff they have nowadays. I, I want to. I, I believe that, and don't take this the wrong way, but if for Travis and if it was Mike or whoever or, or Travis's brother to to fool you boys, I mean, wow, that's a a. Uh, it's, a, it's a really well pulled off hoax, not for you, but for you to say that the the, the thing was moving, it was vibrating, and I, I'm asking you about that beam of light that came down. Could that have been anything else? Uh, what I meant by that could that have been like a big giant flashlight or whatever that you used back then? What did I see take off? You saw it take off. Yeah. Rich, goof on, have I missed something here? I, I, I can't remember. Have you spoke about it taking off before, Steve? Yeah. Yeah. I must have missed something on off, off, every single you interview know, when, that I've when, ever listened when, to that because I've when, not when, heard when, about when, it. When we stopped, when we stopped, when Mike finally stopped, right, we got out. He falls to the ground, just bawling like a, I mean, if this was a hoax, he's a great actor. Well, anyway, I'm still not saying nothing because they're not going to listen to me anyway. And uh, as we were getting out, we could see a, a white light take off and it was gone. You know, when you say white light take off, did, did it, are you, are you saying you saw something shot up to the sky? Yeah. Something shot from the, from where we were, where were we at, where Travis was at, into the sky. I saw it. And I'll take a polygraph person and I'll bet you I can pass it. Well, after 50 years, hell, it's in my mind anyway. <laughs> well, you know, I don't think a gentry tower could do that. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, you know, I was so prepared for it to be a hoax, Rich. <laughs> you know? Well, we'll never know. You only Travis would Travis would be the only one to ever say that that we would believe I, it. Don't give me I do want it to be a hoax. I don't I really I don't. want it to be real. Me too. But what, Do you want it to be real aliens though, Steve? Because you're a religious man? Or, or well, you, not not the alien part. I believe there's stuff out there. Don't get me wrong now. I believe there's people, you know, there's there's more out there than this to us. Come on, you have to be pleased. I just don't look like they look like lizards and and grays and you know. <laughs> Hello, I'm a gigantic lizard. What's that guy on the TV? What's him? It's not a lizard. It's a. <laughs> uh, uh, well, anyway, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, don't be sorry, mate. Uh, and then these people saying they well, they got vibrated through a. a house or something and went to the ufo you know well in theory the vibration might work but that would tear your body all to hell wouldn't you think <laughs> mm. you yeah that technology is magical to us but who knows in a thousand <laughs> years <laughs> who knows well, I, don't, I don't think that we can do what um um captain kirk did in star trek beam no. you up scotty that i don't i that, you know Stuff like that, I just can't believe. I'm sorry. And UFOs have doors. They don't have, you know. Beaming portals. <laughs> <laughs> right? Did you, just, did, did you just say UFOs ha have doors or don't have doors? <laughs> they have doors. They, they have doors. Just, they just can't beam you up in their, their craft, you know. And they can't yeah. just walk through a wall. Hey, I'm here. <laughs> uh, you got something walking through your wall it's something evil or or something dead it has nothing to do with do with uh aliens <laughs> uh -uh. yeah you've so you've been in ufology now you say for for 12 years you've been looking actually looking into it it is yeah. it's, it's, it's a shit hobby to get into you you know when you're retiring mate it really is <laughs> when am I retired? You have retired now, haven't you? You, you don't, you're not working. Uh, I anymore. have no choice. They put me out to pasture. I, um, I broke my neck, so I'm disabled. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear that, mate. I, I heard that on Erica's show. Um, the that, but is that when you started to get into the, the whole ufology thing? Yeah, after I broke my neck, I, I started getting into it after because of my daughter, you know. And before, I saw stuff, and I never even seen a gray. <laughs> but I've seen some stuff. <laughs> mm. You 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 must have... Have you watched the Joe Rogan interview with Travis? Mm -mm. No. No, no. I don't watch anything that has anything to do with Travis. Right, okay. Well, that's, that's just destroyed my, my, my question. <laughs> but, I uh, have, no, no, don't get me wrong. I did watch um, Jennifer Stein, mm -hmm. you know, and I have watched Paranormal Witness. I have watched, um, um, you see, what's, what's a new one? The travel channel came out with. I saw that. And but no, if it's not a special or something, one of Travis's, I don't watch his videos. Right. I've, I I know the story. What do I need to? Fair, fair, mate. Fair. He probably he probably doesn't listen to me either. <laughs> uh. -uh. Well, sadly, it sounds like money was the root of all this evil. evil. Yep, that's it. Money is the root of all evil. That sucks. Hey. Yeah, I know. I just want that's this shit that. to be real, man. And you guys are as close as we can get to knowing if it is. And that's what's, we're right there. I just want, can I read your mind? Can I do that? I just want yeah, to see what you saw, it. man. That's, that's such a trip to me that you saw that. I had a couple of psychics 
tried to get in my head one night. Oh, no I way. Had three of them. Yeah, and I had three of them at the at the same time trying to get in my head. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 I don't like psychics, man. I I just don't, you know. Did they get any answers? No. No? No. They That's tried. a psychic yeah. for you. Well, some of these guys, you know, I, I know a couple of them are pretty good. I don't know if they just know how to read people better than other people. You know? Yeah, maybe, yeah. But there's a, there's a couple of them that are pretty good. Yeah, there's a couple out there that do fantastic work. But, man, that... What an experience. It's like anything so, else. There's a, there, there's a lot of phonies out there, you know, with them, you know. But there are a few good ones out there. I, I know a couple of good ones, you know. A couple of good phonies. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't, I, you know, I really don't believe it. I believe that, you know, they just, they can just read people better than most people can read people. Like a, you know, like a mentalist, start, uh, like a truth, truth teller sort of thing. Yeah. You know, you know, they ask you a question and they, you know, but I don't know. Maybe Micro expressions. Maybe they are witches. They know the witches are in the Bible, you know, so. So, so that, that. To me. Huh? Go, to you what? Go, on. go ahead. What was you going to say? I was just about to say, so is that your, that's your belief that it is, you know, it's the Bible. It's everything they do. They tell you what it is that it, this it is fallen angels. Basically, we, we are we've been lied to about this whole UFO thing. It's demons. Uh, I don't know. It's Come on. the reason why I asked that. Do you, you think by you think by now that after all these years, somebody would have a good picture? I mean. I mean, no, I, I don't, I don't believe they exist because there's no proof. You know, I'll be honest with you, Steve. I'm surprised that if they are as advanced that they say they are, how anybody could get a picture. I don't know. Maybe that's true. I don't, I, I, I don't know. I don't have the answers, but I, I've been looking. I've, I've gone on. I've been from. Alaska, all the way down to Mexico City, and every all the states except Hawaii, you know, looking for answers and go hitting graveyards. And you know, I got to think about graveyards. What is it with you and graveyards? I, I don't know, man. <laughs> you know, the strangest one I've ever been to is you ever heard the money, the, the, uh, not the money, but the um, movie called In Cold Blood. That name rings a bell. I've watched a lot of movies. Is it a is it a paranormal movie? No, it's about two guys getting out of prison and they um uh they they robbed this guy and they killed his family. It's in Kansas. Well, anyway, um I went to the people's house, the the people's graves that were killed, and I don't know my my hair stands up and it's kind of freaky. And then, um, let's see, I've been to a couple places where murders are happening and spent the night, and I get into that, man. <laughs> You're, you know who Gary Gilmore is? Are you uh, is, there? He a, is he a murderer? Yeah, he killed two people in Utah. There's a movie I'll be honest, about I'll, I'll be honest I just guessed that. <laughs> Well, just anyway, the, I, the, 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 the motel that he killed the guy at is still there. And, and uh, wow, and uh, I went over there and, and spent the night there just to, you know, that was kind of weird. You could, you could feel something in the lobby. So, you're into the whole the, the ghost hunting thing? Oh, yeah, I'm into ghost hunting. I now there's something I believe in. I wouldn't say ghosts, but you know, spirits or you know, yes, yeah, yeah Rich has got a spoon. Huh? Yep, haunted spoon. Haunted spoon. Yeah, it's over a hundred years old, man. Really? Yeah, the thing. Yeah, you know, it's weird. I, I was. It, it. Some days I'll wake up, and it'll be sticking out of the drawer. Some days it'll be on the floor. Some days it'll be 
just on the counter and I and I know I'm not using it. So sometimes even when we were on the show I was doing my own podcast here and we heard it fall off the counter while I was way in another room. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah. So yeah, and I got this I, I, Ouija board that's got some really messed up stuff that comes with it. So I uh, no, Ouija board's not allowed in my house. Yeah, I'm done with it. I don't I haven't even, used I wouldn't it even since. I would I wouldn't touch a Ouija board for nothing. <sighs> Dude, don't you have anybody come home with you? <laughs> you I <laughs> think I did, yeah. <laughs> I didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> I, I, I've had somebody come home with me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, kind of scares the wife a little bit, but she wasn't. She never knew about none of this stuff until we met. <laughs> oh no! What, what is it you guys call it over there? Hitchhiker. Yeah. Huh? It's a hitchhiker. The, the hitchhiker. You call, hitch, you call it a hitchhiker, don't you? It's, it, when something comes home with you that's not <laughs> that supposed to, yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's it. Uh, uh. Mm. Did, you, did you ever get anything come home with you at Skinwalker, uh, Steve? Uh, not really, no. Uh-uh. I, it, it, that's a, that is a strange place. But, you know, if you really want to get into Skinwalker, you need to go down where the Navajo people actually live because Skinwalker is it's just... The, the Navajo just, you know, were slaves for the, were the Utes, you know, and they cursed this little area, you know, they put a, you know, and that's, that, that's the legend behind Skinwalker, you know, but actually the Skinwalker comes from farther down south around the Four Corners, you know, you know what the Four Corners is, right? Colorado, New Mexico, Arizona, and Utah, right in that Four Corners. And and a lot of strange things happens on reservations, and I don't know why. Uh, uh, it's just this weird because strange things can happen on reservations. Do do what do you make of the? Have you watched any of the show? The Skinwalker What's that? Show? Uh, the, the Skinwalker show, the new one. Have you watched with you know Brandon? No, Brandon, no. no, because. Come on, man! You really believe you talking about the the, the guy who bought Skinwalker now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you think Bigelow would actually sold that if something was going on? Think about no it. way. That's what I yeah. always wondered. Why? Yeah. But they are friends, so he sold well, it to a friend. It keeps him in the loop. Well, I'm wondering if that's what. There's nothing going on, and there's the whole basin has got stuff going on over there. It's not just skin. I mean, I mean, I mean if, it, if it is, it's more supernatural than it is um, alien related. Yeah, I, I believe that. You know? Yeah. However, they do see some things in the sky, but nothing that I have seen as, you know, smoking gun evidence yet. I haven't seen no smoking evidence in my whole life, man. Every time I think of something. This guy sent me a picture, said, hey, look, I seen a UFO, and here's an alien coming to talk to me. <laughs> ah, man, you could tell that alien was fake looking. You know, <laughs> come on. <laughs> Rich, that sounds like that guy that you met that puts the balloons up. Oh, yeah, but Jeff <laughs> Woolwine, yeah. <laughs> just, he, just, he just sounded like him. He did. That was funny, yeah. Oh, or, or the guy that is in Arizona used to fight him with a sword and kill aliens you know <laughs> oh yeah that was the uh the other ranch <laughs> i killed a lot of aliens yeah all these aliens come all this way here just to kill get killed by a sword <laughs> yeah and, and the funny thing is all the evidence disappears when you chop the head off yeah <laughs> the- you know you know where you got that right <laughs> the invaders Oh, is it from that? Well, you know how they used to kill them in the invaders back when we were kids? I don't know how old you are, but when I was a kid, they had a TV yeah. show called The Invaders. Yeah. Right? Okay, when they killed the aliens, they, they turned red or something, and, and they disappeared. That's so funny. Yeah, you're only 10 years older than me, so I remember that show. <laughs> I think it was called The Invaders. I think it was. 
Yeah, that's amazing how that, that story. I've, that ranch is also in Arizona. Um, I can't remember it, but yeah. He had some story, said his wife was getting, uh, you know, sexually, you know, touched by aliens and stuff. It was pretty funny to hear, but funny and sad because what if it's really happening to this poor woman? But sad, the story's so crazy. How can you believe it? Yeah, really. The, um, anyway. The, hey, the, Ali, I, I got to take off, brother. Yeah, no worries, so Rich. Do I. Just, so do I, guy, man. Hey, thank you just, for having me. Steve, one question Steve. before you go, my friend. I just want to, okay. I want to, like, you've been into ufology now for 10 years, uh, 12 years. You, you, you must have heard of the Tic Tac UFO and all that. Uh, have you heard of Lou Alizando? Have what? Have you heard of Lou Alizando? What, what about it? I, 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 I want to know what your take is on all that Tic Tac UFO, the Tic Tac. No, I, I don't, I don't want to talk about somebody else's case. Wait, like wait, I said, uh, huh? Do you, do you know who Lou is? Uh, uh-uh, I don't, I don't know who it is, but I really don't want to talk about somebody's case, you know, because I don't know the person that I've never read to read anything about him, you know. But if you see in gray, is I can tell you now, he's full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't need to watch anything for him. <laughs> uh, as soon as you mention gray, well, I, I'm through watching. <laughs> <laughs> check, please. Uh, yeah, check, please. <laughs> no, he, 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 he hasn't seen any grays. Has, well, Steve, it's it's been an absolute pleasure, my friend, and uh, I. Uh, I, I hope I, I hope, mate, you uh, you guys meet up again. Hey, you know? see if you can find someone who can get us all together. I'm I'm game. How much would it cost? I don't know. Well, well, you. What? Well, you got my email? Give me an email and we'll talk. Okay, mate. Okay. Well, I can't make no fucking money, you know. <laughs> well, you know, you know, you know, you know. Hey, hey, listen. I had some people that, that came over here to see me and they, well, we, you know, I said, well, I'll tell you what, you can take pictures and we can take me and my wife out to eat and we'll say that's good enough. And they were happy with that. You know, yeah. it, it ain't all about the money. You just got to, I don't care if you buy me a Pepsi. As long as you're here over to England, mate. You can stay at my mum's. <laughs> huh? What? I said, I'll fly you over to England. You can stay at my mum's house. <laughs> I'm just saying that you know, I, it, it, it ain't all about the money. It's just that you know, I'm just a, I'm just not going to do it for free anymore. I do think a reunion would be fantastic, though. I oh really yeah, do. it would. Yeah, it would. And you know, yeah. and charging somebody a, a a steak dinner to see me and take pictures, I think that's worth it, don't you think? I can cook a mean steak. <laughs> see, <laughs> and buy me a beer. Hell. Get me drunk, hell! We might tell. I could tell you all kinds of stories. <laughs> That's a deal. That's a deal. <laughs> <laughs> all right, dude. Thank you for having me, man. No way, Steve. Thanks, Cheers, Steve. Mate. Thank you. Okay, bye bye. Bye bye. He was awesome, man. I'm just. I want to know the what the the poll. I I, I put a poll up and asked I, <laughs> if if Steve. But there we go. Let's, let's have a look. I, I generally, uh, I think Steve believes it happened. Man, I don't know. Sometimes yes, yeah, sometimes no. I'm still on the fence. But why? Why? What would he have to? He, he, have, nothing. he would have more to gain out of saying it yeah, was it, it was a hoax. He 100%. saw it. They saw something. Of course they did. Does but Steve? What, believe, sixty-eight percent. Sixty-eight percent believe Steve. Out of sixty-four voters. Wow, sixty-eight percent believes that he believes it. Only thirty-one. Well, I say thirty-one's quite a big chunk, though. Believes that he thinks it's a hoax. I don't. I really don't think it is a hoax. If, have I got any mods? Can somebody somebody block this? Oh, I'll get it. Yeah. Pornographic site. Jesus, YouTube is shite for that. They they just let it linger. Yeah, those are yeah. the best nudes in the world in the chat. Got it right, Randy. 
Yeah, I've saved the link for me for later. Those are porn so. bots, right? Yeah, porn bots. Yeah, it's, it's, it's probably YouTube. <laughs> hey, I want to... Uh, there was a video that was sent to me by Dark Sky Files, and I was trying to message you, but you didn't get to me. Uh, can you play this? It shows Travis Walton lying. Have you ever it seen this video? It, de it depends, because I'm good mates with Dark Sky, but his channel got taken down for, I don't know if it was for copyright or whatever, but YouTube took it down. So I, I, well, I don't want to, I, don't wanna, I, I wanna watch it after the show. Well, you can watch it on my show then. There you go. Well, you, that's because you're a risk taker, Rich. No, that's it's because I don't here. play all of his videos. I'm just playing once, you know, every other month or so. You don't go crazy with him. Yeah, I had a, I had a good show up about a couple of months ago. It was me, you, and Lee, and we showed a video, and the show's now down because they got a copyright on it. So I don't want to risk it. Oh, that sucks. Was it a video I gave you? I think it was. No, no, it wasn't that one. I only got a claim oh, on okay. that one. Yeah. Oh, that well, sucks. The crazy thing with this is I honestly think that there was probably two, maybe three people involved if it was a hoax. You only need two. Now, I did a show the other day where I made believe I was doing a regression hypno mm -hmm. hypnosis and I acted it all out, cried and everything. Are you going to tell me Mike, Mike Rogers can't do the same? Well, Mike Rogers is on next week, so... Next so we'll Friday. find out. <laughs> I, 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 I didn't want to say anything to Steve while he was on the show because yeah. I just wanted to feel comfortable. I yeah. didn't want him to think that Mike Rogers would be coming on while he's on, but yeah. Mike Rogers will be on next Friday, people, um, which could get interesting. Um, it's, I just think it's... It, it, I have never heard anybody say that they saw it shoot up in the sky. Am I, am I, I never wrong? have. No, I never heard that ever. But but Steve said that tonight that he saw it go up in the sky. When that they drove away and stopped the truck, Mike Rogers got out, kneeled on the ground, was crying, and then they saw the light take off, right? Isn't that what he said? Well, if that's what... It, I, I never heard that. But if that's what he said, then Steve just backed that up. All right. So what's the show on tonight, Rich? The uh, Lou Elizondo suing John Greenwald. Oh yes, you you told me about this. Jesus, so so well, wow. Uh, you know what? I found out about it because I was sick for a few days. I found out about it this morning, and I was trying to to read up on everything I could, and. It just says here from Todd McMurdy, this guy is McMurtry. Surely hope you don't defame Lou Elizondo. It is well documented that he was the director of ATIP and any participation in a plan to cast doubt on that truth is a knowing effort to defame and sow disinformation. It's legally s s uh, actionable. Well, Everybody's saying, where's the proof that Lou worked at ATIP or, or anything? There's still no proof. I mean, Lou doesn't, to me, he's a big guy. I wouldn't have put him as the suing type. I'd have thought he was a guy that can take it on the, on the chin. You know, a little bit of... Well, he doesn't have his landing pad anymore in his chin. Everything slides off like hot butter. This guy's as as shady. He is doing exactly what our government's doing to Trump. It's almost paralleling what's happening. It is amazing that these type of people want to get all political. And I'm sorry to say it, but that's your ufology. It's all one sided. And that's why me, truth seekers, you sometimes Area 503, we get bullshit on because we're the ones telling it like it really is. And we're on the, the right side of history while everybody else is playing along with the narrative that they're dropping out. And it's very, it's, uh, it's very bad that did Lou's you, doing this. 
Did you just give Truth Seekers a little bit of an olive branch there? Fuck no. <laughs> Fuck no. <laughs> See, I just, just just put that out there. No, I know. I just said no. Definitely oh. need to get you on together so you can kiss and make up. I know you're going to say never going to happen. I will rip him to shreds if you want to put him on a show with me. I will tear him down. He has nothing to stand on. He's a bold-faced liar. You and Dave are friends now, though. No, not really. We're talking, but it doesn't mean we're friends. Space out radio, Dave. Yeah, but we're not. We're not there's a lot of talking. Daves. There's a lot of Daves in the UFO I know. field. There's a lot of Daves and only one boohoo Lou. Um, no, there's yeah. two Lou's. Two Lou's. You've got, you've got Lou, Lou, Lou from, uh... Oh, yeah, Lou CR. Yeah. Yeah, we'll just call him Lucy from now on. <laughs> I'm, I was supposed to stay in the middle, but it's kind of, kind of funny. Nah, you're um, not. You, you, I know you, you want to stay in the middle. That's fine. I, I don't care. Uh, look, I, I just... The guy's really a talentless weeb. I mean, he really doesn't have any talent. I'm a stand-up comedian. I I make movies and I do... Bullshit. You're the most boring motherfucker on the internet. Anyway, I got to get going. I'm pumped up. Goof on no tonight. Words. We're going to talk Lou. We're going to talk everything else that just happened here. We'll see you tonight. Ten minutes. <laughs> Rich, Ten. Are, are, are you going to make Monday's show? Most likely. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'll be there. Okay. Of course. Okay, mate. I, I, you, you get yourself off, and I will tell these guys about what's happening Monday. All right, um, I'm going to go suck down some honey. Talk to okay. you later, man. Thanks okay. for having me on. That okay. was fun. Love you, man. Thank you. Love Bye-bye. you, buddy. Bye-bye. That was interesting. Um, so, yeah, next week we have, um, unless, he, unless he chickens out. I don't think he will. He's a tough guy. We're going to have we're gonna have Mike Rogers on. Um, and maybe he's going to say something. I hope he says something different to what he's actually said in other shows. Uh, I kind of went into this tonight, guys. I didn't want to go over the whole Travis thing again and again. But I think the reason why I did is, if if I'm honest, I wanted to try and get something, some more information out. To me, I, I and I don't know about you guys, I honestly think, that the people that were the, the the six of them, the witnesses, maybe five, <laughs> maybe five witnesses believe they saw a UFO. If it was if it was faked, I think two of them were in on it. Travis and somebody else. And maybe a third probably a third, maybe fourth person. However, anyway, I think Steve believes what he saw. I really do. Um, I didn't see, I couldn't see his eyes. I, I, you know, I see what you see. Um, but uh, nevertheless, cool guy. I'd like to have a beer with him. I think he'd be a, a great guy to just have a, have a beverage with. But uh, Monday, people. So I, I, I've done a little bit on the Calvine UFO. Um, I, I don't know if any of you that, that are new to the channel may or may have just come on because you want to see Steve Pierce. The the Calvin UFO I have been discussing over a, a few videos now. Um, I've had one live stream that was fully on it, uh, another live stream where we mentioned it, and I put a six minute video out on my thoughts. I I actually did find uh, last Sunday. A, an island that I thought was the UFO itself and where it was taken. Somebody else found the same island and they put it out on uh, Professor Simon's channel. Anyway, to cut a long story short, I've had um, a conversation, two, two big, two conversations now with a reporter, an ex freelance photographer for the for the U, for the UK Scottish 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 uh press interesting guy and it's, it's not often that I am lost for words I'm not going to say anything right now to what he said 
But this is the thumbnail for Monday. And let me just say there is no clickbait there other than my actual thumbnail where I've messed about with the images. They are not real people. Well, they are real. I've just messed about with them to make them look like they're different. They're not. It's just a bit of clickbait. The actual thumbnail is accurate, though. What I will be discussing with this guy on Monday is exactly what he told me. He has seen all six pictures. And I'll give you a little spoiler. It's more interesting than just a rock. That's all I'm going to say, people. I want to thank you all for your support. For everybody who is putting the thumbs up, that is sharing this video out. I love you. Uh, anybody that is just there, I think you're amazing. If you want to support it further, so maybe one day I can leave the day job, you could become a Patreon. You know, I'm on there, usually topless. Uh, I need to stop doing that. I lost a couple. Um, but yeah. You can become a Patreon. I'm not really topless. Um, might show a few naked pictures, but, but but nothing, nothing too hairy. Anyway, stupid UK jokes. You can support the channel. You can buy T-shirts if you want to, like 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 my my two beautiful men here. I have a. Uh, a range of goods that you can, you know, some of them you can keep yourself warm, cover yourself up from the sun. Mm -hmm. There you go. Have a beverage on me. There's not no liquid in it though. But anyway, that's me. I've I've done it. She looks at me. See the message she puts. Have you done it yet? Yeah, I've done it. I've done it. Yeah, you know, maybe one day I'll become the next, the king, the king of the UK ufology. People, Monday, Monday, make sure you um, get ready. I'm probably going to put the video out. I'm probably going to premiere it, not premiere it, because it will be actually proper live. And I'm going to schedule it, I think, Sunday. I could do it tomorrow, but I think Sunday. Um, it's on Twitter right now uh, is the, the thumbnail. Let people know it's going to happen. It is an interesting story. You you will believe the guy trust me it it's um it's an interesting chap nice chap I've had two long conversations with him now and i've been texting most of the day good night god bless people mind the books don't buy i'm alien addict make sure you like share subscribe and also finally make sure you check out the basin files because it turns out that dave from the basin files paid steve to come on the show which i didn't know I just thought Steve was coming on the show until Dave said, well, I paid him. Dave, God bless you. Love you, man. Good night. God bless. Bye-bye.